and we're getting some other breaking developments also now coming in and this is as far as that humanitarian corridor that in fact has been opened at the Rafa border now what the IDF spokesperson in fact is saying that fuel in fact will not be allowed to enter via the Rafa border crossing meanwhile you also have Israel's defense minister now saying that Hezbollah has also decided to join the fighting but he will pay a price for it. So that's the word that's coming in from the IDF. Remember, this is crucial because ever since you had the negotiations getting a green signal as far as a humanitarian corridor was concerned, Israel had also said that this will come with terms and conditions. Remember, the opening has been made through Egypt. There are as many as 20 trucks that in fact will be pushing aid to the people of Gaza that still continues to be plagued by the humanitarian crisis. But the IDF also now saying that Hezbollah has also decided to join the fight. In fact, he has decided to support the Hamas militants and continues to give them more aid. But the Israel is also saying that he will have to pay a tough price for it. Let's also give you a better sense of what's really happening on the ground. It's been almost two weeks since the war first broke out between Israel and Hamas. It broke out on the 7th of October. Both sides have made numerous allegations, pointing fingers at each other for the kind of mayhem, destruction and even casualties. Many people have been displaced, are in the dire need of humanitarian aid. First aid trucks have entered the beleaguered Gaza. As we pointed out, people of Gaza continue to be plagued with a humanitarian crisis. Trucks carrying life-saving aid are now beginning to cross the Rafa border into Gaza. The IDF, in its latest statement, has now reported that there are about 200 hostages in the Gaza Strip, with over 20 of them being children under 18, between 10 to 20 over the age of 60, and the majority still alive. Remember, Israel's defense chief has also instructed troops to prepare for a potential entry into the Gaza Strip to dismantle the Palestinian militant group. Meanwhile, Egypt is also organizing a peace summit. The summit now aims to de-escalate the conflict and protect civilians in Gaza. Let's play out some other reports by CNN. In a primetime address, the U.S. President Joe Biden directly appealed to Americans for U.S. support in wars in Israel as well as Ukraine. Let's take a look at this report. <laughs> 